Uh, I know we've talked about this in the past and, uh, uh, and, and various other projects that, uh, that the Alderville First Nations has been, uh, has been encouraging us to get on with, and staff, uh, absolutely. Well, we all, uh, we all know one thing. We may, be the, we may look like we're the, the people who make things happen, but we know behind the scenes, and it's usually behind the scenes. It's, it's the people who, who, uh, who do all the, all the work, including my staff. So, so we want to thank them very much for all their work. The announcement is uh, being made today on behalf of uh, Mr. Dan Finley, the Minister of Human Resources and Development Canada, and under the Skills Development uh, Program, uh, a grant by the federal government uh, for a solar farm project here on the First Nations, Alderville First Nations. The federal government will be contributing up to $373,000 along with partners, uh, and it's called a Solar Racking Project. The partners would be Alderville First Nations in the amount of thirty, <coughs> excuse me, thirty-four thousand dollars. Silfab Ontario, one hundred thousand dollars. Simpson Welding, two hundred thousand dollars. And Sir Sanford Fleming College, one hundred and twenty thousand uh, dollars for a total project uh, allotment of eight hundred and twenty-seven thousand and four dollars. Just a, a great announcement. Uh, the solar farm will be one hundred percent owned by the First Nations. Uh, and will produce about five megawatts of power when completed. So we're very pleased. And, and what this will do is it will train, I don't I forget the exact number, it'll be about 14 or 16? I think 15 to 18. 15 yeah. to 18 uh, uh, First Nations from, the, uh, from uh, the First Nations territory here who will be learning uh, the cutting edge of, of solar, the cutting edge of of uh, the future for us in, in, in green power. Uh, and this will make, as far as I can tell and know, their skills marketable across not only Canada but anywhere in the world where projects like this would be would apt to be to be built. So great news for skills development and training, great news for long-term economic sustainability in the production of power and five megawatts is not a small amount of power. Uh, and just great news all around for the area, the, the work that will be done the employment that will be sustained. And the special fund when it first came through, uh, Carrie brought to the council and it was going to be, um, we were thinking of more of a council project. But we said, well, why when we got our expert here, Cody Simpson, who's a very successful business on Alderville, a welding shop, and so that's where all the expertise lies. So it was passed on, uh, Carrie got, did all the arranging and um, Follow through with all our funders and our other partner from Sir Fleming. And, and how long did it take? Uh, not too long. We, really? worked, we worked on it for a while. For, for a while, yeah. yeah. So it, was, it, was, it was a long project. <laughs> but it, but it, it, it goes hand in hand um, with their um, with the solar farm project now because they'll get on site training and they'll know the full um, aspect of uh, the racking system because they're going to be building them eventually. So. You know, the, that team alone will be able to work anywhere in Canada, probably. It may be a good opportunity for them to even start their own business Absolutely. for uh, solar installers. You know. So, um, congratulations to everyone and their hard work. And um, But also, um, we've also received word, we got our final push for our, our construction funding for the project. So, we're going to do another press release soon um, with all our... Financing and uh, so that that was big news for us. Uh, it's been a long time coming, and uh, just because of all the hoops we've been jumping over, three years since 2009 we started pushing this project. But uh, we're going to see some. The sun is shining. <laughs> so, uh, and we like to thank the government. You know, um, we also put in for more grants to help us along um, to put into this project. So you may be here again. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kerry contacted me uh, late last fall, I guess, to see if I would be interested in becoming involved in a project working with partners like Silfab and Sir Sanford Fleming College. And I said I would, uh, just to get involved with the actual skills development of the, on the welding trade side. So, I guess I see myself partnering with Sir Sanford and uh, Silfab and all the other partners to help the skill development of welders and 
First Nation people getting into the skill trade. Actually, yeah, it's a great day for the college because really it was two years ago we started on the solar uh, photovoltaic installation program and we did deliver that over the course of six months here. And so the second phase is really a culmination of, you know, some more intensive training and this time we're going to be delivering the entire welding certificate in partnership with uh, Cody. So for the college, it's just a great day to be able to kind of expand the training, continue with the work that we're doing, and hopefully at the end of the day, have a real hand to play in having some really highly skilled uh, tradespeople uh, who are able to really either be self-employed or to uh, really push the industry along. And certainly in terms of the whole solar industry, uh, Alderville is doing some amazing work as far as playing a leadership role, so it's exciting for the college to be part of that as well. I meet frequently with the Northumberland, Kawartha, and Quinty Manufacturers Association, and in one of our meetings I asked as, a, as a, just a, a piece of knowledge for myself, uh, what trade are you most in need of here in Northumberland, uh, Kawartha, and Quinty? Because those three manufacturers associations work together, and they told me welders. So the skills and trades, if they don't find work in the, in the solar sort of sphere of, of welding, I know that uh, non-ferrous welding, of which my father was one, and he gradually became a, a, a millwright, uh, but uh, welders are in high need anywhere in our society, and as we, uh, as, we as I hope, uh, and I know it opens up another avenue of discussion, but one of the areas that we're hoping to be able to develop and, and to deliver oil to the rest of the world is through pipelines, and of course welding is a huge part of that. And what a way, what a positive way to include First Nations, not only in talking about, uh, you know, the rights of ways and all those other things, but actually employment, as we've seen uh, just on the news last night, some of the great things that are happening along the James Bay on the Quebec side. And so we've got to replicate that. We've got to make sure First Nations people take part, not only in the, new, in the economy as we go forward, but in the skills that are needed for that economy. And this is a perfect, uh, uh, sort of a perfect conduit to that happening. And, Kudos to Fleming College. I know we met with uh, some folks from Loyalist College yesterday when we were consulting on, this, on the Canada Job Grant uh, program that's coming. So that's another area that I'm sure we'll be able to do some fitting in. Hint, hint. Uh, labor market agreement. Labor market agreement is is continuing for this year, but we're negotiating with the provinces for that for that uh, for that other part. So. Uh, so a lot of good things happening, and uh, I'm just so happy that the Government of Canada can be a partner in this great enterprise.